How pretty is that? Just, just that. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, we're going to listen to that again. Soundtrack. G'day everyone. Welcome back to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials. Uh, my name is Dr. Dan. For those of you who don't know me, nice to nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, today we are listening once again to Dimash and. Uh, I have umdenard for quite a bit of time actually as to whether to review this particular performance. I, I can, the reason I'm relenting is because every time I do a Dimash video, someone, you know, it's usually, you know, one of our lovely dear ones requests. In fact, it's not just once, you know, one request per review video. It's like multiple requests. The reason I've, I've always balked at, 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 reviewing it is because it is quite obviously a pre-record that he is then, you know, performing for the video shoot. And certainly that's my view of it. <laughs> I know. As soon as I say something like that, there, there is likely to be uproar from the Dear One community who, um, you know, cry foul. That's certainly how it comes across to me that this is a, a full pre-record. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just that I typically go looking for live performance vocals. I have started to l drop that requirement of myself a little bit. And so finally, we're going to review this particular, this particular video. And the vocal, and that's what we're going to, you know, really focus in on here. The vocal is beautiful. There's some lovely, quiet singing in this. The presence of the mic, and that's a bit of what gives gives this away. There's no pop shield for the mic. There's, you know, to typically get, you know, the level of um, clarity around the breathy vocal in this, you would have to be typically right up on, on the pop filter and really close to the mic. And of course, that's not really what we see in the in the video take of the performance. But nonetheless, it's beautiful singing. And it's a really good example of dyn dynamic build. So let's let's dive in. Let's have a listen and uh, and enjoy it for what it is in the context of what it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> I've made comments previously about, you know, in, in videos where I've where I've made comment about the fact that the voice is is you know showing signs of fatigue because it's going to breath. That's not what's going on here. There's no sense of fatigue in the voice. It's purely an aesthetic choice to allow the voice to flow to air. And um, I really love that breathy offset that he puts into that. And he's able to really hold that sound. It's beautiful. Mm, the core tone. When I use the term core tone, what I'm referring to is, is a really consistent thread of, of note that you hear in this take through a very breathy surrounding edge of the tone. But that core, that central edge of the sound is in perfect position. It's beautiful. Have a 
listen to how that cleans up as he goes into his upper register, he leaves the breath behind. And that's in part because as the vocal folds thin out, we do have to get a, 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 a I want to say the word stronger, but it's actually a, a cleaner reduction of the vocal folds as he goes into an elongated vocal fold that is thinner in the, the contact edge and at the, the breathiness is left behind as he moves to that. Lovely, lovely. We do get wowed, and there's some 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 wow moments coming up with big, loud, high singing, and and, and I'm I'm often saying to young you know beginner students, actually that's not what is the difficult stuff. Most people can you know yell and make it sound pretty cool. What takes a lot of skill, a, a lot of skill, is to do this, is to be very quiet but have clarity of tone and to be in full control because the breath management has to be so on point and and this singing is on point like it's bang on <laughs> Just a lovely movement. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Hear the, hear the way he changes the vowel shape there it ever so slightly morphs um i i don't speak the language of this particular piece so it might be that it's a it's a a language derived shaping and you can let me know in the comments section below if you happen to know that it is but it's it's it nonetheless it's an interesting little feature isn't it it's Pretty is that? Just, just that. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, we're going to listen to that again. <laughs> Let's have a look at the lip shape there. Beautiful. It's something that we forget as singers so often is to really use our lips to shape certain vowels. And, uh, and as a result, we lose the functionality, that extra shaping that the lips can give. Your vocal tract is measured from the level of your glottis directly between your vocal folds to the edge of your lips and nostrils. And we can shorten and lengthen the vocal tract and that changes the acoustic value of that pipe 
And so when we use our lips in really clever ways, like we see here, we get the full advantage, the full development of the tone. Have a, have a watch of the what he does with his lips. It's a lovely, clear picture. Oh, we get to hear that again too. That's good. Yeah, good. He looks at the camera just there for a slight second. That has no bearing on this performance whatsoever, but I think it's just a nice little, nice little moment. Just a moment. That's really hard to do. Have the listen to the decrescendo. It's so easy to crescendo a note, but to decrescendo a note like that, th there's a there's a, an exercise called a lot of people call it the king of all exercises called messa de voce, where we we start with a soft note and we build to a a loud note and then we decrescendo to a soft note again. It's very hard to do. <laughs> very hard. And uh, and have a listen to the way the way he does that. It's so good, very clever. He's so connected, isn't he? I, I really do love the the sense of, um, you know, performer's connection with this as I'm, you know, e evidently because I just let that run for a bit, I'm, I'm quite, you know, engaged with the performance. That tells me that, you know, the performer is engaged with the performance. That level of, of connectivity tells you that he's he's really working with the lyric. He He's allowing the lyric to sing. And he's joining in that narrative, and and as a result, it pulls an audience, me. It pulls me in, and uh, and that's you know that's you know like I keep saying, that's good singing. <laughs>
very nice. You know, as I was watching that, I, um, I have I had moments of doubt, questioning myself: is is um, what's going on there that actually they all they actually recorded that him, him doing it live, and they've cross mixed it? I, I'm not sure. I know, I know, dear ones, you'll you'll have an answer for me. Tell me, was it was it purely a live recording, or or was it? pre-recorded and then he's saying to it or was it a mix of both irrelevant really as far as you know making an analysis of the of the voice but the context is important and there you go i finally have i finally have reviewed this video for you <laughs> fabulous singing and really good quality quiet soft singing so so many times we hear demarche you know uber high notes, you know, D8s and, you know, um, very loud and very big, but it's lovely to hear that really quality core tone down low, down quiet and, and good, good quality singing. I hope you've enjoyed today's vocal analysis. Please leave your comments, hit the, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed today's analysis. <laughs> it's always varied when I do in a Dimash video, but I do read your comments and uh, and I do thank you for taking the time to to do so. I look forward to seeing you in the next Voice Essentials video. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well. <laughs>